there's all the talk about Emily Batty's diet and how she's just doing terrible in cycling right now. If you're not familiar with this, here's the story. Uh, this awesome cyclist is was trying a ketogenic diet and who knows if that's the reason why she's doing so poorly. There's a many reasons why a person could be doing poorly in cycling, but I can tell you this, that she drank the Kool-Aid and I actually hope she gets back to normal and I hope she just kicks tail and starts winning. That would be awesome because she's an awesome person and uh, I'm just gonna jump on the bandwagon too and give you my opinion of, of what she did. Someone actually said this very, very well, that carbohydrates are for athletes, endurance athletes. Keto diets are for people that don't exercise and wanna lose weight. Well, that's a good summary if you're gonna summarize it in a very short uh, sentence because what happens is she was literally afraid to, to eat a banana. You can see in her video, she was afraid to eat bananas. She was just, you know, doing what everyone does on YouTube is kind of trying what's popular. And you gotta give her kudos. If she was performing a certain way with a certain diet, the only way you know if something's gonna work for you is to try it. The problem is that with a lot of these things on YouTube where they say, okay, you're just gonna, there, there's, listen, there's protein, there's fats, and there's carbohydrates. The whole point of being an extremist is just eliminate one. Now, a long time ago, we used to eliminate fat. So people would eat just protein and carbohydrates, and we were a high carbohydrate uh, society, right? Then, of course, that didn't work. So then now let's just eliminate a whole nother classification called carbohydrates. That in theory could work because what you're doing, whether you eliminate fat or you eliminate carbohydrate, if you stick with it long enough, you're going to lose weight. But the problem is, what is your performance going to be like athletically? So as an endurance athlete, you need carbohydrates. How do we not know this? So if you eliminate carbohydrates, you're going to be sluggish. And this, this young uh, athlete, if you saw her, she does not need to lose weight. So she was not doing it to lose weight. She was not doing it uh, for any other reason than to experiment with performance gains. And her performance has gone down the, down the toilet. So carbohydrates are what we need for energy. Now, of course, carbohydrates have a bad name because everybody thinks carbohydrates is spaghetti and breads and pastas and cookies and cakes. Carbohydrates are not that. Carbohydrates are also vegetables and fruits. And there are differences between a cookie and a vegetable. So by eliminating fruits and vegetables from her diet, she was only eating, in theory, proteins and fats. Well, the only thing that can occur is she would just run out of energy. And that just doesn't work as an endurance athlete. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, if a person is 80 pounds overweight and does not exercise, then yeah, maybe in theory it could make sense to eliminate food from them. So if they stop eating and they stop eating so much food, maybe they'd lose weight. But the other side of the equation is saying, well, it's not calories in, calories out. Maybe it's the the one component of food. Let's just make something the enemy. In the old days, we made it fat was the enemy, then we made it protein was the enemy, and today, these days, it just so happens that carbohydrates are the now enemy. And in all cases, people lose weight. But if you wanna lose weight without exercising, you're gonna to have to eliminate either the amount of food, the type of food, the crappy food, or just pick one and make it the enemy and you'll probably lose weight. The question is, can you stick with it? In this case of this cyclist, she tried to eliminate the very constituents that are necessary for athletic performance. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Let me know what your thoughts are. What is the diet that you follow and what diet do you think is the diet that you works best for you let me know in the comment section down below oh it's going to be fun to see these